everyone, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Amanda Zieta with Washington Exec, and with me today to talk DOD-based technologies is Greg Clifton, General Manager of the Defense and National Security Group at Intel Corp. Thank you so much for joining me today, Greg. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Nice to be here. So I've been reading about Intel's investment in U.S.-based factories. Why is it so critical for the U.S. to produce ships domestically? Thanks. Good question, right? We have been spending a tremendous amount of time and money making sure that we build out our domestic uh, manufacturing capability. And it's important, and this is one of the things even one of Intel's original founders talked about, it's for innovation. Uh, when you do state-of-the-art manufacturing, you learn new ways of doing things, solving hard problems, new materials, um, new capabilities, and that puts you on the, the cutting edge of innovation. If you allow others, you know, other nations, other countries to do that, you lose out on that critical innovation. Um, and it's, it's critical for our workforce, right, and developing new skill sets. Um, high paying, you know, high skilled jobs, the engineers that we need and various other skill sets. When you look at um, semiconductor manufacturing, you know, there's chemists and engineers and physicists, you, you name it, right? Those kind of skill sets. Um, and, and then that builds up the entire economy, right? You get those skill sets here in the U.S. Um, the other thing it does is having those kind of jobs in the U.S., I think it'll uh, spur our students, right, to go into more of the STEM fields and the engineering field. So it, it grows not only the semiconductor industry, but it really grows the entire economy. Uh, key part of that is domestic supply chain. So whether in a time of conflict or in peace, you want to make sure that you can get the critical components that go into our national defense systems, but our citizen service systems, our health care, our financial environment. So it's critical for our economy, our way of life, our security, that we have that domestic supply chain that we can pull from. We certainly saw what happened even in COVID, just as supply chains get disrupted, what happens? Um, so it's critical. And I, and I think the U.S. has really taken a big step um, towards you know, that domestic supply chain. And they've got partners like Intel that are investing significant dollars and time and effort and people into that. And then for Intel, you know, we're moving down a strategy we call IDM 2.0. So for years, we've made our own products. So we designed CPUs and then we manufactured them. We're now manufacturing systems, whether it be CPUs, ASICs, different kind of microelectronics for other companies. The advantage of that is it increases the volume. So when I talked about the innovation, it just gives you more opportunity to learn, learn faster at a higher volume, which moves that pace uh, of new capability and innovation faster, which is what we're all about. So switching gears a little bit, why is edge computing so important to the DoD and how is Intel helping to meet those edge computing requirements? It's been a big move to cloud over the last couple of years. I think of cloud as a mainframe, right? You can consolidate it. You can do some really interesting things. At the same time, many of our customers are asking for edge, which is really kind of client server. This, this model's played out a number of times over the years. Um, and it's really about bringing the compute and the communications to the data, right? The data isn't all just in one place in a data center, it's, it's dispersed and out there. And so the ability to use that data, to analyze it, make decisions, and then take actions, it's critical to have that compute capability and that decision engine out at the edge. And certainly for the Department of Defense, as you're looking to do autonomy, AI, really make that work, that time to decision is important, and the ability to constantly train algorithms. Um, so getting new inputs, new data, um, right out at the point of where the action is happening is, is critical. Uh, and then we're working with the partner ecosystem to make sure that we've got not only the right compute engines, but at the right size, weight, and power to meet our customers' needs. Uh, and then that goes hand in hand with advanced comms, things like 5G, but it's more than just 5G, but it's the ability to uh, obviously bring compute to the data, but then you still have to move that data around, right? And move it from one edge device to another edge device or back to the data center to the cloud. So connecting all of the, the compute and the comms together is critical for the Department of Defense. We see what they're doing with the Joint Warfighter Cloud capability. Big component of that is going to be the edge capability and bringing uh, compute um, and workload um, optimization to the warfighter at the edge. So, yeah, it's a key key component, but I, I still look at it as it's not that different 
than the client server model that's been around for, for decades. Um, and, and it's about getting to the data, ease of use and speed. Yeah, you mentioned some more advanced technologies. What suggestions can you offer your DoD customers who are planning to implement those technologies like AI and 5G? Communication early and often, working with your partners to understand the requirements, talk through the requirements. Um, a lot of times as we've uh, had the dialogue with our customers, what they maybe thought the original requirement was, kind of more of space just on either point in time. Um, but as you look at the requirements, looking at it with the lens of state of the current, state of the art, and then state of the possible. And looking at all those, balancing that against the time frames and when you need this deployed is critical. And the other big thing is testing, right? Doing fast, nimble testing. You know, everybody talks about, you know, fail fast, succeed fast, uh, but I think that's important in this environment. Sometimes even in the testing world, it, it can take years just to do testing versus let's be quick about it, let's move, let's get this thing take, taken care of. And then I think the other part is pick partners, right? That know you, know your environment, but also can then help connect you to solutions and capabilities that you may not know about, right? There's certainly small businesses and innovative, unique things, but then there's also solutions that companies that are in business for 50 years like Intel may have that our customers don't really know about. So making sure you're picking the right partners to really help you along that journey, uh, work with you from that consulting on the front, what are the requirements to what's possible, to what do you actually have to do to implement it, support it, and make it work. Well, to close, Greg, I'm curious, are there any recent or upcoming projects that you're particularly proud of? Well, along that last line, a lot of transformation efforts with the Department of Defense, you know, really with JATC2, it's all about the edge. It's all about connecting systems. Um, so we're doing a lot. We've got a solution we call situational awareness at the dynamic edge. So trying to help our customers make sense of all this data, put it into action for those decisions that we talked about. We're very involved in some of the advanced comms and 5G pilots and activity that's going on. A uh, lot of work and I'll just call it sensing and tracking. Uh, as objects move, you gotta see where are they going and, and how do you follow them? And that requires a lot of compute. And there's a lot of interesting new technology that's come into market that our customers are really interested in learning about and figuring out how they put that to use in that mission environment. So having a lot of those types of conversations. And then I call it more blocking and tackling, but it's really interesting just talking about workloads and workload optimization, not only for performance, but our customers want to know, well, where should I put this? Should I put it in centralized cloud? Should I put it in distributed edge? Should I put this you know, somewhere else in my environment to maximize my performance and maximize the flow of data uh, and the optimization of data as we go? So a lot of fun and interesting things out there um, that really make it an exciting time. Technology continues to push forward at, at a breakneck speed. So there's always something new to talk about. Um, but it's not just the technology, it's what can you actually implement, what can you actually do, and what are the, the returns on your investment from a mission perspective, business perspective, people perspective in those environments. Well, Greg, thank you so much for talking us through some of the things that Intel and DOD are working on together to advance missions with technology. Appreciate you being here today.